Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some crazy foil prices. These prices are outrageous in my opinion, but they kind of make sense given the how old they are. So all these cards are in foil and all of them are quite expensive. So Gemstone, Gemstone Caverns is a $160 foil. My Yes, it's old, it is in time spiral, but they can reprint it any time. However, it is a beautiful, it's beautiful in foil. Some cards are much, the foil really brings out the shine in them. Misty Rainforest, the Expedition is one of them where it looks amazing, amazing in foil, but I cannot imagine it in non-foil. Uh, Gemstone Caverns is another one. It has recently spiked to $160 and it has no, it doesn't look like it's going to go down anytime soon. Sylvan Ranger. This is a card that was given out to pretty much everybody. It is a gateway promo. So there's tons of gateway promos. Anytime you have Cultivate or anything that gets you land, the promo will eventually be valuable. Do I think this is a good looking card? I don't know. Questionable. It is a very common promo back. If you played this card back in the day, or you play Magic when this came out, the store could not get rid of them fast enough. They literally handed them out like candy and no one wanted the candy because it was kind of gross. <laughs> and to see it at $5 is really kind of astonishing. I'm not gonna lie. I. Didn't think it would ever get there, but here we are today, and it is five dollars. So good, you know, good for that. Good for this card. It is quite. I don't know how to say. It, it is quite interesting that it's five dollars. All right, next card is a almost a ten dollar foil, and twenty cents regular card. Macadian mask foils are very pricey and especially land. So here you fit two categories. You fit the Macadian mass foil and you fit that it's a foil land. Foil land will always have tremendous value. I can't remember the last time a foil land was not given time. So Macadian mass was like how many years ago? 10, 15 years ago? Given time and given a limited supply and given that the player base grew so much, it makes sense that this card is worth $10. There's just not that many copies out there. Is it amazing? No, but it's old and it's in foil and it's very pretty. So certain people like to collect certain types of foils. Okay, Opt. Regular Opt is worth, I think, $0.50, cents, $0.75. Cents. This card will see Modern only because it's we don't have that many cantrips in Modern given the fact that Ponder, which is considerably the best one, is banned and Gitaxian Probe is kind of banned. So, yeah, this is not Visions, but it's kind of like a half Visions and that is okay. That's actually enough. So the foil is $60. Uh, it's very, very iconic. The court quote is nice for those old school players. You got Hannah and your Jared, and you have Hannah in the picture. And this is how the artwork used to be in Visions. I always thought that it was kind of um, cool, but like car cartoonish, but not in like an anime way. Just like kind of like a, uh, like the show. What's that show? They had like sharks, and they were a bunch of kids. There were four dudes, and then. There was a killer whale. I mean, it sounds like ridiculous. I'm, I'm saying it, but there was a killer whale too. And he was like the best dude. And they were like surfers and they would always rip the streets up. So I'm like, okay, cool. You, you stopped this guy from stealing a hundred dollars. Um, but you destroyed the streets in Los Angeles. I think that they were located in and caused like millions of dollars of damage. Meh. All right. Alora Reborn, this one is a $67 foil, and yes, I've seen it. If there is something you can learn, it is buy dragon foils and hold on to them, and eventually they will be $67, because this is not, I mean, this is a good card. I'm not going to say it's a bad card, but it was not in high demand at this time. Now, obviously, there is an EDH deck. 
that plays dragons. Therefore, against other dragons, this is an incredibly useful deck. Speaking of dragons, we can see a more recent example of this trend where we have Dragon Lord Dromoka, which is 35 bucks, and it used to be, I think the foil used to be under 10. Foil dragon, foil mythic dragons. Unless they're really, really bad, they will eventually be pricey. I can't tell you when, but I can tell you it's almost guaranteed that there is some future card that will make them playable. Maybe uh, even a future dragon deck. Dragon Lord Dromoka is very good. I did play in standard and I thought that it was a very strong card and I do like cards that I myself have played. So it's a good card. The other Dragon Lords are very interesting as speculations as well. Uh, I think Slimgar is has started going up in pr price, but the other ones, Colagon has not. Okay, Deranged Hermit. What do I need to say about this card? It, any foils from Urza's Legacy, hold on to them. Urza's Legacy, as well as Urza's Destiny and 7th Edition, they were the first sets with foil. And therefore, they are collector's items, because if you cannot afford Alpha Beta, or unlimited, then the be next best thing for you to buy is foil legacy reserve list cards. Durain's Hermit is on the reserve list. He does have a promo, I think a judge foil, if I'm correct. And it is a $24, no, $124 regular foil. Think about that for a moment. Yes, Unstable will we'll have this creature type, but it is $124. If you play during Ursa's Legacy, this was a playable card, but in, in no way would you expect it to be that price. Okay, talk about Liliana of the Veil, vale, uh, the Pro Tour promo. So Lily is one of those cards that is quite iconic. And one of those things, uh, one of the interesting things about Lily is I don't think her foil price will ever go down that much. I think this is the lowest it will ever be due to the reprint. But it will be one of those foils that will be valuable for a very, very long time. Uh, given how iconic it is, given the artwork, I cannot see this... I can see the foils being in more demand, just like what happened to Tamagoyf in Modern Masters, where the best thing to go with one foil lily is a playset of foil lilies. And that is my rationale. I mean, if that, let's be honest, I don't think that 50% of the Magic players are female, although that's what people have said, that you know, there's all these female Magic players, but they too like Liliana. So artwork-wise, it has a lot of appeal. All right, Gideon of Trials, I like him a lot. I'm not going to lie, I like this card a lot. Um, I don't know what the correct price point to buy him in, but I will trade for him in foil. Is he viable in modern? I don't know, but that's not what I'm banking on. I'm not going to bank on is he viable in standard. I don't really care about standard. I think ED8s is interesting because you can have multiple Gideons in ED8s, and in ED8s, you're going to play all the crappy Gideons, the Marshall, Paragon, all these Gideons will come out and play, and all you have to do is protect the Gideons, and that's a new way you can win the game is just protecting your Gideons, and that's kind of whenever you have a new win condition, those new win conditions, should they be viable in EDH, are incredibly valuable down the road. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.